What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Arendelle bringing you once again another TTC Tony Tech Cave tutorial. Today we're going to be flashing the MX10 Android TV box with a rock chipped 3228. This one has 4GB of RAM and has 32GB of ROM. Uh, this is a very good box by Rockchip, but unfortunately, so as, uh, as many of you know, it comes unfortunately with Android 7.1.2. The version that we're going to be installing today is Android Pie. Uh, many people have been having issues installing this version, um, so I'm going to be showing you an easy way to get this done. It's, it's not difficult at all, so don't get nervous. It'll be quite easy to do, and once you're done, you'll have Android Pie. Uh, to show that this is the old version here take a look this is android 7.1.2 nougat as you can see by the little nougat animation in the background that this is indeed android nougat but that's not what we want uh, once again a lot of people are having issues flashing this box um, so if by any chance you're one of those people who also bricked your box i will be making a tutorial on how to unbreak that pretty soon as you can see by looking at this uh, manual or the automatic in this case update really doesn't work so a lot of you are stuck with the old version and this tutorial is meant to be quite easy and very um, easy to use for anybody so if you follow all the steps that I'll be displaying just now then at the end of this video you too will have Android Pi or Android 9 on your device without any further ado I'll be putting all the links in the description below and let's start the flashing process shall we all right so there's a few things that we need to have done first before we can upgrade the box obviously i'm going to be leaving a link uh, all these links in the description below uh, first thing you want to do is you want to download the uh, pc flash file that is uh, android 9 rom you want to click on that and then it should download i have already downloaded it so no need for me to do that next you want to click on the flash tool once you click that it should start downloading as you can see i've already got that too so i'm gonna cancel that now once you got those two things you want to go to where you put them i put them in a nice little folder for myself it's kind of confusing now but we'll get there um, we have the tool that we downloaded the flash tool that will be the flash tool 64. Um, as you can see this is the zip right here i unzipped it earlier and this is the folder you get and here i have the android 9 that we just downloaded so what you want to do is you want to go into the flash tool you want to go into factory tool and you want to first down you want to first install the driver assistant double click the driver assistant once you're at the driver assistant you want to make sure that you install drivers so you want to click here and you want to click install drivers and it should install the drivers for you drivers uh, install okay now then you close this we're almost there now that you have installed the drivers that's the most important part you obviously want to start up the program and that is the factory tool 1.64 what you want to do is you want to open up the factory tool one uh, the factory tool file so once you've got this program opened up um, you will notice that it's pretty much in Chinese it's not what we want uh, we want this in English so you want to click here on the little globe second option and then it will put that into English for you you also want to make sure that you load the firmware that we downloaded earlier and that is the mx10 android 9 don't forget where you put it else you won't be able to find it obviously it should be loaded and as you can see there's absolutely nothing connected to the um to the computer just yet so this is the tricky part we're going to move on to the little box i can show you okay if you look at the box you will notice that we have the usb4 and the av these are the two things that we're going to be using for today when you put your screwdriver in the AV, you should get a clicking sound. See that? And that clicking sound tells me that uh, we're hitting the button correctly. There's a reset button in there. And the whole trick to this is that you have to hold this down. And while you're holding it down, you put your USB cable in. So let's see if we can do that. So a little trick I picked up is that you want to push this in already. See? And once it's been pushed in, you then uh oh you then want to put in your usb cable there you go the computer chimed where's this out and you will notice that it's good because there's a red light see that once the red light is there and your rom has been loaded uh, what you want to do is you want to click on run 
and it's going to install this for you. Uh, once again, guys, all the options have to be on default. I recommend always leaving this on upgrade because you're obviously coming from Android 7. You can also do restore, but from my experience in this case with this program, restore just gives me boot loops. So I would not recommend it. Maybe with another program, but with uh, the factory tool, I would recommend you leave it on upgrade as it does work. I have flashed this many times just to test it out to make sure that it doesn't go wrong. To be honest, it did went wrong uh, a few times with a few other tools. So I will also be making a tutorial on how to restore this box from from death because i mean i totally messed it up and uh and it was so bad that i would only get a red light there's a lot of people on the internet that's been having issues with that but i'm gonna be showing a small little tutorial uh this uh, on the coming video on how you can restore this box back and and you know just have it working properly if you've only got a red light so um if that happened to you and you want me to put that up like asap let me know and then i'll try to help you out but for now, guys, we're just going to let this thing uh, do its thing. As you can see, it's it's pretty much burning. Once it's done, you will have Android Pie on your device, which is quite handy and it works pretty fast. I think personally, it's, it's snappier than Android 7, which was on this box prior, as you saw in the earlier video, the earlier preview. So, yeah, um, we're just going to let this thing do its thing. And guys, don't forget, once again, uh, once this is done flashing, I'm going to be giving this box to one lucky person uh, or one lucky subscriber. This is not a contest. So you do not have to be, uh, you don't have to fill in anything or you don't have to uh, give yourself up for nothing. Now, I'm just going to be choosing out a random subscriber. Um, doesn't matter where, where the subscriber is from or whatever or how long he or she subscribed. I'm just extremely happy that you guys helped me and supported me to get to 1,000 subs. So to show my appreciation, I'm obviously uh gonna be giving away this box i mean you know i got plenty of boxes lying around and there's plenty of more boxes to come um I'm, I'm gonna be planning or i'm gonna be trying to do my best for the coming days to do more tutorials and also i ordered some new devices finally so pretty soon i'll be back to doing reviews um i do not get uh, none of these devices are sponsored or none of the telephones i actually have to work and pay for them myself so sorry i haven't been around much with reviews but i'm not rich but it's all good we're getting there and as you can see speaking of getting there this is already on 95 percent oh and it's done and once it's done guys um you will know that it's good because here it says successful this also says su successful and as you can see it's green and total one so it's good you want to go back to the box and here on the box you want to plug this out and once that has been plugged out the box is pretty much flash. We're going to connect it to the TV and I'll see you at the TV. Okay, guys, the first initialization process is going to take you extremely long. So you might want to take that into account. So as you can see, once you're here, you come and you set up the box. I'm going to choose English. I'm just going to do next for now. Later on, I'm going to tailor that to my TV. I'm not going to install no Wi-Fi for now. Okay, confirm. And this is how the new MX10 looks like with um, Android 9. I've tested it out earlier and I must say, hey, I think it works much better than the old version. Or at least it's, it's a bit more snappy, I think. It looks also a bit better. And of course it helps that you have the latest and greatest Android. So if, if this is something that you're looking to install, this is something that you're gonna be very happy with. I think personally it's uh, much better than the old version. So um, yeah, um, this is how it looks guys. If you go into applications, for example, these are the standard apps that comes that come with this device. And do not be fooled, Netflix does not work in HD by the way. And once again, guys, do not forget, <laughs> it's gonna take a while before it's first boot. So yeah, if this video has helped you out in any kind of a way, uh, please do, um, Take the time to like and subscribe as that would help me big time i have finally hit the 1000 mark so i'm, I'm gonna be coming out with these kinds of videos more often tutorials as they seem to be doing much better on my channel uh once in a while i'll be also be doing a few uh reviews but in general we will be doing a lot of flashing and i'm thinking i'm doing a flash monday uh kind of thing uh, i don't know yet I'm just, I'm just gonna see how that goes with the time but for now, for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if this has helped you out. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. 
Once again, thank you very much for your time and have a very nice day. Peace.